So it's me again. A uh, long time no see, guys. I missed you. Uh, um, so I'm going to start this uh, video. This is uh, a an, an new version of the Eben. All right, the first one uh, was pretty much like this. The exterior design, uh, there, there was a lot of black too, but uh, this one is all shoe sugiban. Uh, the first one was still black, but uh, with a, a stain on it instead of a, a burnt wood. So um, I'm gonna start with uh, what's happening in the front. I'm, I'm just gonna talk about the things that are different from the, from the first uh, Eben. So one of the things that is different is that there is a split unit on this model and um, an option we have is that if, we want, if you want us to close it or to make it more aesthetic or more uh, that fits more with the house, it's possible that we built a box to put uh, on top of the split unit. So this, uh, this burnt wood, uh, this is still a cedar. Cedar. So uh, when we talk about two sugiban, uh, there is a couple of different profile you can get. Uh, this one is a, it's called Crocodile. Uh, this company, it's uh, in Quebec. This company, it's called uh, Espace Bois. Uh, this is the, um, the, the more burnt wood you can have. And uh, the, the texture on it is very special. I think it's very beautiful. It's very unique. I've never seen a house like that. The siding is it's pretty much the better siding you can get. Uh, in terms of durability. In fact, it will probably be uh, tough longer than you <laughs> and me. So one very unique thing about th this house is it's, uh, that it's all black, right? And um, we made sure, uh, we pretty much upgraded how we ventilate our, our wood. So um, uh, we make sure everywhere uh, on this siding, the, the airflow can pass all the way through behind and uh, everywhere on the siding and it helps uh, it, this house is never gonna overeat because of how the house is built and how, um, how the house is insulated another thing i wanted to talk about about this house is that um, most of our customer now take the option of the uh, the generator plug um, so you have a plug there to plug a generator and inside the, the electrical panel there is just a, a breaker that you switch and then you run on the generator or on the, uh, the grid. So it's pretty nice to have this plug in case uh, of an outage or in case of whatever emergency you can have. So let's go inside. Welcome inside this magnificent house. Uh, this house uh, is uh, 34 feet by 10 and a half feet. Um, so one of the main different, I don't know if you remember the first uh, Eben. The first one we had uh, a fireplace right there and uh, a TV spot. And um, the couch was pretty much on this side and the table was there. This design will have um, the couch right there, as you can see in this picture. And then we have a big window in front of the couch. Uh, as you can see, our customer don't watch TV a lot. They didn't want any TV spot. So uh, they wanted um, a window there instead of a TV. But what they can still do is if they want it, they can add a projector here and a, a screen right there to hide the window and to, uh, to hide the TV spot. Uh, this house is going to Nova Scotia, right? And uh, our customer, they uh, they wanted, uh, they really wanted this big space. They they hang out a lot in the living room, and they also do a school at home. So they needed a very nice place and different area to uh, to sit and to maybe study a little bit. Uh, so we uh, here will be the main entrance. Uh, the place where you hang uh, the coats and there is still some, some place to put a shelving, shelving right there. Uh, right now the house is not de decorated at all. It's pretty much, it's uh, exactly how we deliver it. So um, uh, maybe if the customer want to add some shelves or anything, of course he still can. Uh, right there you have a small bench, retractable bench. 
to help you uh, sit and tie your shoes. And you can put it out of the way, just like that. Here will be uh, the table spot and the place where you store the uh, rolling, rolling kitchen island when you don't need it. So this is a rolling kitchen island. We put in two benches for you to see an example, but we have four benches like this. So what you can do is of course, it's at countertop height and you can bring it wherever you want in this space. And for example, if you're cooking, you could put it just like this and you have plenty of workspace to do the preparation. Or you, can, you could put it just right there in front of the couch, for example, and you put the four benches all around and you have a nice place to have dinner uh, for, uh, for, for people. And then here you have um, a retractable desk. Okay, so here you can sit and work on your laptop or, or anything. And then um, right now it's uh, not retracted, but I'm just gonna leave it like that to show you. Like you can still, um, place the benches there and keep all your stuff on the table and then you can store the table like that. I think it's, it's a very nice uh, setup. Now the staircase, okay. So uh, this staircase is pretty similar than um, all the staircase we, we did. I mean, there is storage everywhere. Now we always put uh, dryers in the little step because I just think it's, uh, it's easier instead of, uh, of opening a small door and watching what's uh, at the bottom of it. So, so storage everywhere. One different thing uh, we, we now do in the first event and in a couple of first house we did, we had a corner step um, and still uh, this retractable step. But um, with the corner step, we had uh, to put a little less step, but now we don't put any corner step uh, for, for that reason. Uh, like this, uh, you have more storage. So right there, you have uh, a big dryer there and then storage in the step. But also it gives uh, a nice um, landing step at the bottom. And it's a very ni nice place to sit actually. So you could, you could be right there and uh, talk to, for example, uh, someone who's doing uh, cooking or whatever. It's just another spot to hang out. And I think it's, it's, it's a good reason to, to not do uh, corner steps. Welcome in this incredible kitchen. So right here, uh, we have uh, an IKEA butcher block uh, countertop. It's a so solid oak, all right? And then here at the entrance, you have um, uh, shoes storage. And then here you have um, a, a nice place to put your feet and to tie your shoes, but it's the wheel wells. So um, we managed to make it fit uh, with this old design. And I really think this wheel well is beautiful, don't you? Here, there is plenty of uh, countertop space. Uh, there is uh, plenty of uh, drawers there. Um, in this house, we have another, um, it's a reverse Osmos um, a water filter just for the, the kitchen here. So you have the, the faucet for the, just for the filtered uh, water. Here you have an, uh, a small but uh, very efficient dishwasher with a dryer. And then here you have a setup we like in here because it's uh, this oven microwave, it's very efficient and it's uh, pretty much uh, two in one. So we save space right here. And this is another good example of uh, what we can do. I mean, our customer uh, didn't want four uh, burners because uh, they don't need it. So uh, they wanted uh, a little more space all around the cooktop 
and we have an ind induction cooked up there. It's very, once again very uh, efficient. And as always, we have this uh, this uh, range hood and plenty of storage on on uh, above everything here. And then you have uh, nice LED lights uh, to make sure you see everything you do when you cook. Don't cut yourself. All right. And then on the other side, we have first of all uh, we have the um, the uh, the head of the uh, AC unit there we have a wardrobe wardrobe uh, for the entrance so you can put your coat there there is a lot of storage right now you see uh, we use it so a couple of dryers uh, everywhere under we have our classic uh, pantry there here we have uh, this nice a stainless fridge it's a uh, 11 cubic uh, feet and it's uh, kind of a big fridge for me it will be way enough here it's our classic uh, cedar uh, cedar ladder it's very light and um, we uh, this is the place you store it and when you don't need it but most of the time it's gonna be set up like this and you can still uh, open the fridge and this storage is a big uh, wardrobe wardrobe with um, uh, a lot of uh, shelving it's for uh, seasonal uh, storage so you don't have to open those doors a lot but when you can you just have to put the, the ladder away and what what's good about this setup is that uh, first of all it's pretty simple so you can see that like the light pass through it easily and, and it's not that big when you look at this place and you can still uh, go in the washroom and like you can leave it there pretty much uh, up there will be uh, their children uh, it's going to be left for uh, a child and so it's going to be full-time uh, inhabited so uh, we needed to find a way to put the ladder and to make sure it's not too much in the way so now we're, we're gonna go in my favorite place on earth the bathroom so here um, there is a lot of thing once again in our in this bathroom at your uh, right when you come in you have this uh, stackable wa washer dryer it's one of the many options we can offer for uh, the laundry machine so just beside the, the washing machine, we have the a 32 by 32 washer, uh, washer, not washer, uh, shower. shower, come on, <laughs> see that. All right, so um, this is pretty compact, but still uh, you have enough place to wash yourself and that's what you need, right? Okay, then um, just beside the shower, we have this storage area that I'm kind of pretty proud of it. It's pretty simple. And uh, we have this uh, little um, shelf there and there is still a lot of storage down there for more um, seasonal stuff. Our customer wanted us to manage to uh, install an hanging line in, uh, in the bathroom uh, for the laundry, of course. So we managed to install this, uh, it's nine feet you hook it there and then you have a place to uh, to hang your clothes and to make them dry. Here we have this little uh, countertop, right? It's, um, it's a very, very nice spot. We have uh, a big window in front of it and it's, it will be the perfect spot to, uh, to fold uh, your clothes and to uh, do whatever you want. You could almost do some preparation on this. I mean, almost, you could, but I don't think you would. And underneath it, uh, the, the whole reason uh, for this uh, little storage there is to put um, all the radiant floor system. So uh, I'm pretty happy about how it came out because uh, Right now, the system is the closest possible to the floor and it takes le less space. And then still, 
it's still accessible and if you need to watch the pressure on it or anything maybe uh, once a year on this kind of system you have to look at the if there is enough pressure and if not you just have to put a little more water so that's why it's connected to the water fin meter in this corner here we have the spot for the water heater right this one is a 30 gallon and in there you have the uh, humidity sensor uh, there is a switch for the, the the outlet that's under the house that's that controls the the heating wires and then uh, you still have an outlet there if you need it and one thing I wanted to talk about is why we sometimes put a water heater that looks big for a lot of people and a lot of people say things like why don't you put a propane uh, water heater that's way smaller and that could be more storage space okay I'm gonna explain sometimes our customer don't want to deal with propane in this house uh, this house is fully electrical so you plug it and you uh, you don't have to think about it and you don't have to think about if there is enough propane uh, in your water heater uh, so uh, and another thing is here we sell a tiny house that's real four season tiny house this house is going in uh, in uh, Nova Scotia but it's it's still very cold there and having uh, a tankless water heater that works on propane is a bit harder in winter because you have to make sure there is an air intake for the exhaust for the the the, the air that's going to be eaten by the, the machine and then that makes a big hole inside our exterior exterior or in the wall and the floor and of course the cold is coming in and it's another issue issue we have and we don't have this issue with the the water heater there so um, there is uh, there is a reason why we put pretty much everything in our house it's not because sometimes people don't 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 understand but I wanted to make this uh, this clear in this case uh, here now we have this uh, this uh, this sink all right with a medicine cabinet and uh, we even have this uh, this close-up mirror what a pretty guy and then when you open it you realize that it's um, th th there's a lot of storage there but still under the water heater we put uh, the water entrance and all the filter that comes with our house uh, standard with our houses Another feature I wanted to talk about in this bathroom is the, the, the humaner toilet. Um, it's the first time we do that, but our customer really wanted this toilet. So we're custom builder, that's what we do. So we managed to make a humaner toilet. That's, that's a bucket toilet. That's a very simple design. And then, And then it's just to show you that uh, we can install whatever toilet you want and uh, but we can suggest things like in this one we, we suggest our customer to put uh, an, an outlet behind in case he wants to install for example a nature head toilet or a separate he still can if he wants and then here you have another shelving for more storage perfect let's go in the loft Hello, welcome in the bedroom of the child. So a couple of things I wanted to talk about in this uh, bedroom. Uh, first of all, there is plenty of storage. And then here we have a window. We have for the, for the first time we install, um, uh, this is the shortest and uh, the smallest IKEA uh, bed base you can have but it's a very good option for a loft like these uh, you put of course your mattress on it but still um, it's um, it's a perfect way to keep an airflow all the way under the, the mattress and here uh, it's um, it's an air a HRV air exchanger 
it's a new one uh, right now it's um we install this in every tiny house we build now at first we installed lunas uh, but now uh, there won't be any any more lunas in our house for many reasons it is just better for our climate in here the exterior trap is uh, way better and it's a uh, simple it's uh, a lot simpler to install and to control it can be uh, connected uh, on your phone with an app and uh, you can control it with your phone and then um, the noise is, is very the same it's a very quiet noise so uh, it's very important so there is two of them they works together and uh, it works pretty well yeah, I'll go in the master loft. So welcome in the master loft. Uh, as you can see, this loft is way bigger. Uh, this is a queen uh, bed base, just like we put in the in the child uh, child's bedroom. So as you can see, uh, the storage uh, in the master bedroom are taller because of one reason: uh, you have taller clothes. And then here. Uh, there, there is the second Bloberg. Uh, there is an outlet on, on each side of the of the bed, and there is a bit a very big window. The egress window will be uh, this window there. I just wanted to sit here and look very relaxed uh, to show you another another place you can sit in the house. And then uh, uh, this is the end of the video tour. I wanted to say thank you once again. Um, thank you for your support, guys. It means a lot to us. And pretty much like everyone wants us to keep doing those videos. So we'll keep doing it because we still love it and we have fun doing it. And um, another thing I wanted to make sure I want to talk about is that uh, we deliver everywhere in Canada and United States for now. It's one of the main uh, questions we always have. Uh, and no, we don't deliver anywhere else for now, but we'd love to one day. And um, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, of course. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to our Instagram and Facebook. That's pretty much where we are the most. And we have a new website. On our new website, it's a lot easier to get a quote and to contact us so uh, it's still right now it's still a very good time to uh, order your house for uh, 2019 um, we can we manage to build a house a lot faster now so uh, we can help more people to get uh, to realize their tiny home dreams and um, yeah so i hope you have a good day uh, a good night goodbye And uh, you can control it with your phone and then um, the noise is, is very the same it's a very quiet noise so uh, it's very important so there is two of them they works together and uh, it works pretty well yeah I'll go in the master loft so welcome in the master loft uh, as you can see this loft is way bigger uh, this is a queen uh, bed base just like we put in the in the child uh, child's bedroom so as you can see uh, the storage uh, in the master bedroom are taller because of one reason uh, you have taller clothes and then here uh, there there is the second Bloberg uh, there is an outlet on, on each side of the of the bed and there is a bit a very big window the egress window will be uh, this window there And um, yeah, so I hope you have a good day, uh, a good night, goodbye.